How can tardigrades survive without water? Researchers they discovered the secret of their success. Water is a key component of life on Earth. They are, however creatures that can do without it for decades. Speech about tardigrades. Scientists have finally discovered the trick that these microscopic animals use it to survive years of extreme dehydration. Tardigrades have been delighting with their abilities for years survival. They cope in various, extremely difficult conditions, often deadly to most other forms of life. You can imagine that by learning their secrets, we will be able to apply this knowledge to ourselves to make people more resistant to extreme temperatures, pressure, and even dehydration. For now, it's just science fiction, but scientists nonetheless they try to understand the mechanisms responsible for their resilience because it can this will also bring other benefits. These tiny creatures, up to long up to a millimeter, they live almost everywhere but they prefer to inhabit environments water. For this reason, they are sometimes called water bears. They can withstand pressures greater than those found in the deepest part of the ocean. They tolerate high levels of ionizing radiation and exposure to various the type of chemicals and are the only life form we know of that has survived in space. They can also do without water for decades. Scientists have just described a mechanism that explains how these creatures they can withstand extreme dehydration. Even though water is essential an ingredient of all life we know, some tardigrades can do without it it has a potential survival for decades. The trick is how their cells cope with this stress during the dehydration process, he explains Take Kazu Kunieda, biologist from the University of Tokyo. New research on the unusual properties of tardigrades they were published in PLOS Biology. When these aquatic animals find themselves in a dry environment, do they shrink and take a round form? In this form they become unique stable and can withstand many extremes, including vacuum exposure cosmic. Scientists think that when water leaves the cell, some kind of proteins must help her maintain physical strength so that she does not collapse into herself, Kunieda explains. So the researchers checked a group of tardigrades known from your ability to survive without water. In total, they selected 336 proteins they could have been responsible for this phenomenon. After testing several different types scientists have discovered that CAHS, cytoplasmic abundant, proteins unique to tardigrades heat soluble, are responsible for protecting their cells from dehydration. Using experiments on human and insect cells, the researchers were able to demonstrate that CAHS proteins increase cell stiffness, they supporting them against shrinking caused by water loss. These proteins protected also cells against excess water. An attempt to check how CAHS proteins would behave in cultured cells of insects and humans were a challenge for researchers because the method their dyeing involves the use of aqueous solutions. For this reason, researchers they used ethanol in experiments, which allowed them to see CAHS proteins in action inside cells. CAHS proteins appear to act as scaffold structures cellular cytoskeleton-like cells. However, they only work if cells are running out of water. In dehydrated cells, CAHS proteins fuse together. Cytoskeleton-like structures protect the cell from complete distortion due to lack of water and probably contribute to extraordinary cell stability. This process, called anhydrobiosis, may remain inverted so tardigrades can start their life in the same way the moment they started running out of water or experienced other extremes conditions. Scientists have previously suspected that there is a based on proteins are a mechanism that keeps cellular structures intact when drying. However, 
Previous research has only looked for genetic one's ingredients of this ability. In new works, scientists focused on proteins. Neat biological tricks like these allowed this eight-legged animals reach all corners of our planet, from burning volcanic vents and crushing pressure in our depths oceans to tropical forests and icy tundra. Everything that applies tardigrades are fascinating, says Kunieda. The extreme range of environments in which these creatures can survive, leads us to study never-before-seen mechanisms and structures. For a biologist, this field is the gold mine, emphasizes the scientist.